okay, I love how the production is so smooth on this, but yo, you need to work on your fucking words, bro. So, yeah. What? As in your content? Verses? Yeah, your verses. Ours? Exactly. Your verses. Well, then I get into you like a story. Sure. Into, uh, for I you, like, for you, sixteen bars needs to be continuous. Sixteen bars of either a build up to a story with a with a plot twist and ending, or it's a full story. Not necessarily. Like I like clever wordplay. But you like Jay Z. Jay Z doesn't give you a full story. True, he does sometimes. Never, rarely, rarely. Yes, rarely. I'm sorry, I said never. That's wrong. No, but see, any method. But I agree with this. Rarely, he will give you something. Uh, for you to say, oh, yeah, sure, method, method. You heard the whole thing. Mm -hmm. He will give you a lot of knowledge in one track, but not continuous bars. Forget about Jay Z. Right now, who who am I listening to? Like a lot. I'm listening to Griselda. Love Griselda. You know, you don't know Griselda. Right? No. We're okay. Griselda is. Camps, a you've been listening to Griselda for for, for years. Now. Yeah, I don't know for the past two years. What do they do? They're a bunch of people from Buffalo, and they do the same thing every single time. They talk about very local, you know, drug rap. But they keep on doing it in different ways, okay? So mm -hmm. the, it still stays fresh, but the production is just cold, you know? And it became a very specific sound. That's Define very, cold. Uh, raw? Not a, a bit raw, yeah. A bit grimy, very grimy. Uh, but at the same time, it's just like cold beats, you know? Like you feel a chill when you listen to the beat. That's the kind of cold I'm talking about. Okay. And they've Isn't been- grime they, British? Didn't you guys give grimy, me- Grimy, grimy. It's grimy. Okay. And these are been... words that uh, Shamsi creates for the genre that he likes. I'm getting lost. <laughs> no, and it's like dirty. <laughs> I'm getting... It feels dirty, you know? It feels like dirt a little bit in your ears when it comes to the production. Yeah. But it's so good. It's so well done. Brazil does not grind me. Let me just make the point. And they've been doing the same thing the past two years, and they blew up just because they are, have a consistent, definitive sound, which is not very clever or innovative. It's just like the same thing, just done in a different way. Okay. So my, my point is it doesn't always have to be like storytelling. It's not Lupe. I'm not looking for Lupe all the time. Close that window. But I'm just looking for, I don't know, man. Better flow, I guess. Yeah, maybe better flow, better verses. It, no, it, you have a lot of people in trap music that have crazy flows. You still don't like trap music. I have a problem with the flow and, and trap a lot of times. No, you have a problem with trap overall. You just don't like the sound of it. True. Uh, then don't tell me I have a problem True. with something else when I'm no, telling no, you the actual no, I problem. I can appreciate specific <laughs> tracks, but not like the whole genre itself, you know? Like I have uh, some future tracks that I like, but not a lot, to be honest. Not but, that I gave a chance to be there. Okay, my problem is that I cannot agree with you on things is because I look at it in a totally different point of view than you. Okay. So we, we had discussion before. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we had We always had this yeah. discussion. But basically, I, you know me, I, I like to keep my... Uh, Open... Yeah, open mind to all types of hip hop and rap. Very accepting. Except for it's French. <laughs> so, so <I'm> <laughs> like, French. I'm good on that. Like I, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm really, really good on that. See, I don't mind the French rap because I get it. Sometimes. No, you don't. No, you don't. Like no, you don't. I get. You know, three words of French massacre from middle school. I was actually seven. Okay, see. Seven words of French. Boy who plays French music on YouTube but, but with Google Translate. But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, respect to all the creators who now have the opportunity to just put up their stuff on Spotify and just like wait for a dumbass like me to find it and critique it and like talk about it. So, so who did you find and critique it, Amsi? This guy with eight followers I was, I was telling you about. I don't even did know Did he just name. give himself a compliment? Yes, like, he gave it. Oh, he, 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 he went like this. He went like this. Yeah. Self high five. <laughs> That's it. Self high five. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. Tapping yourself on the back. Yeah, you like, like tapping yourself on the back. I do. Ooh. I do. There we go. I like discovering things that are not very well known and, you know, being telling people about them. Do you like to tell people things that, are, that, that they don't know? Exactly. Yeah, that's a problem. Why? Because you always want to be this guy that's like totally different than everybody else. What that? And, oh, did you guys hear about this? Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not saying that you are like that. Yeah. All right, guys, relax. <laughs> all right, all right, let me know. We're here, we got it. Give me a second. Well done. <laughs> it's about sharing. You like to share something that's interesting that no one shared before. Yeah. It's not about sharing, it's about showing now. Mm -hmm. That's no, not no. Yeah, it's not. You, know me, you, know, you, you, you know me better than that. Yeah, no. I know. I, I know you, Shamsi. It, it's it, not showing off. More of it gives me a sense of pleasure. Honestly. No, it's more of you no. Know, oh, you guys didn't know. No, no, not about that. Let me let you know because yeah. I'm 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 in tune with everything. Let me educate. Okay. Uh, let me drop some yeah. knowledge. <laughs> look at, look at, look at. Yeah. You all know better than anybody else that not not a lot of people give a shit about the things I give a shit about. True. So let's start. That's true. true. Okay. That's true. But 
to me, it's more of I. Not like a lot of people like you. True. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> no, true. come on. That's not that's true. That's true. You're beloved by a lot of people. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> So no, no. He knows it's a lie. He can't even buy it. Can he I make the goddamn point? Okay, can I make the goddamn point? <laughs> All right, go ahead. It's about, I know that I like this thing, or if I see something that I like and I share it with you, Turks, mm -hmm. and you actually like it, that gives me a sense of satisfaction. You know? Okay, that's cool. Because I feel like, you know. I, Hence, you keep giving me to, shit about Doctor Who. Exactly. Yes, it's something to connect you on. You know? So when you were a child, did you have a problem of approval from your parents? I don't think so. Because then why are you looking for people's approval to say, oh, thank you for it's giving me that? It's not about approval, though. No, but you do like people's approval, though. That's different. So if you say, <laughs> so if you send me We're something, that one now. I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. You would send me something that would tell you, champs, this is trash. And then, like, okay. you, then you get annoyed by it because, yo, I thought this was interesting. You should yeah. like it. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't like it. Yeah, but trash is a, is like, a harsh word. Like, why, why are you catching feelings? Because I don't like something that you sent me. <laughs> Because I took the time out of my day to send you something, you fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. Thank you for those eight <laughs> seconds that you spent uh, to put like, share, send. I was like, hmm, who would enjoy this? Probably nobody. Let's send it to Adam. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets angry at me. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry then. Uh, <laughs> then again, then again, a lot of the things I do share end up as, you know, uh, viral uh, memes that do spread out across the groups. Do they not? Here's the thing. I'm interested in a lot of things that you share. <laughs> he doesn't believe me. <laughs> Mara, Mara, nobody believes yeah. you. Just, eh? If you see our uh, DMs, like especially like on, I'm not going to say which platform, mm -hmm. like you, would, yeah, it's, it's wild. What? It's not wild well, in a way like, well, yeah, 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 it's not wild, wild in a way that like, you know, there's like, you know, like models or whatever. No, we leave that to no. you. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Ours. <laughs> yeah, specific like nudes. No, 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 no. 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 It's like he. That's late night. No, okay, good. Like, imagine, that's past the cups yeah. at night. What do you think about these boxes, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. I know y'all's facts. <laughs> the way it looks like, imagine if you had a guy from Siberia and a guy from Hawaii or a girl from Hawaii and they decided to have a wedding. Imagine if you had to create that wedding and put those two So a beach wedding? No, it's not beach. Siberia, bro. They're freezing. With hats. <laughs> Bro, I don't know, I don't know what, what don't example know. that was, but the idea I is understand two it. different worlds no, coming like, together. Like we would share like a lot of things that normal people would not actually have conversations about. Like one day I'll send them about AI and one day he'll send me about cryptocurrency. Then the next day we will send this huge ass like 75 page article about the extinction of the platypus or something like that. Yeah. Wow. But seriously. Oh, platypus yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's getting there. Platypi? Platypi. 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 By the oh, way, by God. the way, by the way. What? Welcome to Bachelor. I'm about to Bachelor. say. Yes. I'm about to say. Thank you for joining us. I was us. waiting for you to finish, to be honest. <laughs> I felt like we took yeah, go ahead, go ahead, if you want. Welcome to Bachelor Caps. Thank you for joining us on episode 36. Six. Yeah. Uh, I'm Shamsi. This is Adil. Trix is here. Hey. And... It's your boy. Thank you for joining your the boy. conversation. Let's just put it at that. Platy pie. Platy poo, fellas. Are they extinct, poo. though? Uh, not yet. Okay. Cool. It's getting there. Though. Please. All right. Let me start with a the, with the story. Then we'll go to something else. So I was talking to one of my homeboys, all right? I can actually say his name this time because he told me to say his name. His name is Brian. Mm. Okay. Hey, Brian. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brian. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Funny thing, his name is Brian, but he's nowhere near white. Okay. <laughs> I was just about to ask. So anyway, uh, Brian used to be... Uh, uh, I don't remember exactly which branch of the military service. And he was stationed in Afghanistan in like early 2000s. Okay. So I, like we speak every now and then. He's back. He left the service. He's doing other things. He's raising his beautiful family Glad with three boys. Uh, so <laughs> we were, he sent a message out of nowhere because he heard something and reminded him of something that me and him like, you know, we used to do back in high school and then like he just reached Whoa, out what? okay there was like, a skip there yeah okay. there's a skip that i can't really say uh -huh. on fucking camera so uh, yeah, you know okay. we'll discuss it later on okay sure you used to do things oh, we used to do a lot of things <laughs> go on <laughs> so That's i was like i replied i was like yo man yeah i remember great times yada yada listen hit me up when you're free so he calls me up and we we're having conversations and i've never talked to him about his time in afghanistan okay right? but i was asking him he's like he wasn't like in something like very big but he had like a, a certain thing that he used to do so he's like, when we were bored, basically, like, you know, we used to play soccer with all these uh, Afghan people from Afghanistan, right? Okay. Afghanis. Afghanis. Yes. They're called Afghanis. I, I, I was like, yo, is this racist or not? Because <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah. no. my brothers, yeah. bro. I love them. So, you know, that's, I need to be sure. That's the actual term. So he was like, we'll play soccer, well, football. Also soccer known as them. the G's. You could call them the G's. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So he's like, we were playing with them. He's like, no, we, we can't play. We're wearing boots and shit. And like, even if we have other shoes, like, we just can't play them. Okay. So, like, you know what? They're always beating our asses. Let's teach, let's teach them basketball. 
Okay. Teach them basketball. We have the upper hand. We can whoop their asses mm-hmm. all day. So mm-hmm. get that get that moral uh, high game. ground. Okay. <laughs> you know, feel empowered again. All right. You teach them basketball. He's like, after four broken ribs. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He's like, we decided wow. we can't teach them. Okay. The second they figured out, oh, I can elbow. Oh, that's fine. Oh, when that's you're next cool. to me, I can push you off. Mm. It's like, man, that was an elbow. <laughs> that was an elbow. We felt that. Like, way. Yeah, like we felt that we needed to leave the country. <laughs> Every time we got that elbow, like, yeah, we should have left already. I'm, I'm glad they did. <laughs> I'm, glad they did too. I'm glad they did. Oh, one, one thing got them to leave. But it was great. Losing at basketball. Shout out to our Afghani brothers for whooping their asses. Mm-hmm. Uh, and everybody else's over hundreds of years of history. Do you guys see uh, the census? The breakdown of the census? No. This was a couple of days ago. So. Numbers. This is the census by age. Okay. All right. People born in from 2010 to 2019. 5.8 million. Okay. All right. 2000, 2009. 5 million. Okay, five, just straight up five? Just straight up five. Okay. So from 2010 to 2019, people got busy. Okay, so, wow. 5.8. Thank you, influencers. 0.8? Uh, oh, well done. <laughs> it's that extra social media. Okay. <laughs> from That's not a huge increase, is it? Five, uh, five to 5.8? 800,000? Here's the funny thing. Uh, 90s was 5.8 again. Okay, so consistency there. Yes. 80s, 7 million. Yay, yay. We in the house. We in the house. We yep. take over. We're, yes. we're, we're rebuilding this bitch. We win. <laughs> yes. We're here for the future. <laughs> we're staying. <laughs> no, but then again, yeah. 70s, 5.8 again. But that's a big drop though from the from yes. the 80s to the 90s. You want to go from the 50s up so you can see the drop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's the, because what's, it was from top to bottom. What's, the, right? what's the 70s? Let's go. Okay. Go 50s and up. Go ahead. Before 59, 1.9 million so far. Yeah, I can't see All right. She didn't make a yeah, shame. Shame. Like, this is people like, still alive, yeah. my guy. <laughs> still alive. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the country. We didn't just was... discover procreation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, go on. Anyway, people before 1959, 1.9 million still alive. All okay. right. Uh, 60s, 3 million. Okay. Uh, 70s, 5.8. 70s, 5.8. Yes. That's a big jump. Yes. And then 80s, 7. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. And then went down in the 90s to 5.8. Okay. And then the early 2000s went down to five. And then 2010, 2019 went up back to 5.8. So I think. Yeah, I that, think Disco did his job. Well done, Disco <laughs> in the 80s. No, but that, that you said it. We are the ones building the country. We are, we the, are the country. Biggest now. generation. Yes, we are. Yeah. We're the leaders now. We are the leaders. Now we've taken control. We are the world. <laughs> we are no, not the world. But when you, say, when, you, when you look at it that way, like there was a big jump and then they cooled off in the 90s because they said, you know what? We've got enough. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we, we put a work they, they in can, the 80s. Uh, <laughs> we put yeah, a work. Like, exactly. This is what we're getting now. That's it. Cool. Like, right. like this is the actual results? All right. Ghosty can't handle this now. <laughs> okay. faces we got like, no nah. hospitals. We got no ghosties. Nothing, wow. son. But yeah. so what, why did it drop off in the thousands, though? Why do you think it dropped off in the thousands? I think... It's not uh, a huge drop, though. It's, uh, it's more... Than... <laughs> I think it was the introduction of condoms. Well, fair enough. <laughs> I mean... Wow. I'm out. Okay. Wow. I, was, I'm out. I was thinking camera phones. Like when people actually started. No, that wasn't the thousands. People, it was like, late 2000s. It was thousands. Cam- everything was uh, not allowed. Yeah, we were still. What are you talking about, bro? No. Okay. Mm-mm. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, color screens didn't come to like mid 2000s. I, I remember that. Didn't didn't we stop the, the, the pigeons in the 98? Was it? The panda, you mean? The panda? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The running panda? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, anyway. Ah. Uh, then I have like, uh, my news is all over the place, all right? But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to s- structure this in a way. Go through. Let me start with this one. This is from Amanda Tariyal. Every three minutes, someone is getting a violation for not obeying uh, COVID protocols. Every, every three minutes? Every three minutes. Okay, what does that mean though, a violation? Uh, either not wearing a mask. Not wearing a mask not or, wearing... Or, a co- or a restaurant or some sort of place not uh, following the regulations. So allowing to... dine-in? Exactly. Okay. okay, question about the dining thing. So I can't dine in. Can no. I yeah. dine can I dine outside? No. Okay. What do you mean by like uh, sit outside? Yeah. But still dine in? Yeah. No, thank you. Okay. No. You can go. You don't have to have this conversation. Just making sure. No, 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 no. We're not gonna waste our time with you. Do you know why? Why? When was the last time you ate out? Not recently. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. And it the was, last time you did was with who? It was it was less than a it was less than um It was with me. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was two yeah. weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. You don't go out. So 
There's no reason for you to answer that question. I'm just wondering. For what reason? No, you can go in and, and, and place an order, take out, and just uh, you can order like delivery or pickup. Okay. I did that today. That was fun. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I went to this restaurant. It's, it's, it's all closed. And it's just got like barriers from the door to the cashier, and you can't go anywhere. See, you need to be guided. Yeah. Son. Yeah. I'm glad they got it. Like a cat. It was <laughs> fun. <laughs> I think some restaurants, when you go in and you order, they ask you for your phone number. And when until so you go back to your car. When the food is ready, you get a message. Oh, on that's WhatsApp. Cool. That's that's innovation. Cool. Yes. On WhatsApp though? Yeah. You gotta quit that thing. Still innovation. You're getting a message, you but guys why are you complaining? You guys thinking of, like companies are gonna quit WhatsApp right now? I don't know. Exactly. Everyone's thinking with WhatsApp. No one's going anywhere. That's Every tough. three minutes in real. Someone's I expect, getting uh, I expected more. They're violation. they're letting a lot of people slide. I think. Every three minutes? Yes. No, bro. No one's sliding right now. No. If every three minutes, nobody's sliding. But you see, you see the amount of people outside that are just not giving a fuck though. Okay, being outside in the car is totally different than actually being outside outside. Outside outside. I'm outside, talking about no, like outside, there's no outside. place to go. Right now, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, you're talking about before. Yeah, before. Well, okay. It was if you want to go from before, yeah. Uh, a lot of people neglected all uh health uh what's the name procedures mm -hmm. everybody just start doing whatever the fuck they want to do mm -hmm. um weddings bro weddings and family gatherings and parties were off the chain and people were not following the protocols and that's what caused all of this it's that True. simple it's your fault i agree yeah it's all it's all of our faults yeah. no honestly it's not even this it's even ours we yeah. we were going out yeah we were going out we were partying mm -hmm. yeah so we were alhamdulillah nothing happened to any of us but again it's something that we need to really pay a price for right now. Alhamdulillah, ala salamatna. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, salamat sabayik also. Um, yep. I, I, know, I know, I know. Everyone Sabiqa that goes to the gym, Sabiqa. I know, I know. You're hurt today. You're hurt. I'm hurt, bro. You're hurt. You're hurt. <laughs> Champs, the last time you, you walked to the gym was a month ago. You saw right? on the inside now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sore on the inside. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. <laughs> well, today there was a fuck up. Right? Uh -huh. and so, cool. Yeah, and uh, they apologized for it. Yeah. So someone uh, Forgot disrespected something. everyone uh, who goes to the gym. Which, by the way, I'm not mad at that. Really? I'm not mad at Why, that. Why, though? Thank you for that. Why? Why is it I acceptable want you, to I want you to go to your segment. trainer. Okay? okay. What was your trainer's name? Anas. Shout out to Anas. I know he follows us. Okay. I know. I know. I saw him. He does. I, Anas, by the way, I'm going to tell you this right now. If I ever see you posting champs in your Insta story, <laughs> again, <laughs> again. if I ever see it again, uh -huh. we're going to have problems. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> Why is he popping up in my story? <laughs> Why is someone sending me that story to look at? Uh, <laughs> someone send it to me. Because they know look it's your at boy. your boy. They know it's your boy. And it's my boy going like this. Yeah. <laughs> your boy's training, bro. With like two kilograms on each arm. Fuck. It's a start. <laughs> no, son. A journey of a thousand miles, bro. <laughs> two steps. Bro, you two kilograms. <laughs> well, it? anyway, ask okay. us. Okay. So what killed this whole gym thing is everybody who went to a gym and decided, you know what? I am the gym. What does that even mean? Oh, exactly. See, you didn't spend enough time in the gym. I am in the gym. I am the gym. Okay. When you spend enough time in the gym, you're going to find people who are basically the gym. Okay. You ask yeah. them, you know, how's the weather? Biceps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not kidding. So you're talking about the people who are there all the time. No, you can be there all the time if you want. It's up to you. It's about okay. them. They only speak about the gym. They only uh, talk about the gym. Okay. All their posts about the gym. They talk about all these like all these proteins and all this like amino acids. Take 15 vitamin C. Eat 15 apples and punch a steak. Yeah. All right. Boy, how does punching a steak <laughs> help? Okay. Yo, man, you ask them. Don't ask us. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. this is their problem, not ours. See, I used to know a few people like that. I know a lot of people like I that. I no longer do. I know I, I know uh, something called social media that okay. has a lot of them. And here's the thing. Social media is what killed it for me. This is why I understand why people are angry. Okay. And what's because the, social and what's media, this? everybody became a trainer. Okay. Everybody got knowledge. Everybody got skills. Everybody became a trainer. No, no, no one got, no, knowledge. No, got knowledge. Everybody YouTubed, yeah. took information from someone, and then they came and acted like, yo, hey, let me tell you. Remember I told you about my trainer in Australia? See, I was my trainer in Australia mm -hmm. is an actual, he has an actual PhD. In, in sports science. Okay, good job, yo. So when he's when he's training you, he's telling you, listen, this muscle right here could be affected by this training, so I'd like you to do one, two, and three. Okay. But when I saw how he trains me for like, I don't know, a year, and then when I started looking at other people, how they train, like, whoa, the major difference. Like some people will tell you to do certain training would that tell you exactly the right way to do it. That can pop your back. And we had a big ass argument about that. Remember that shit? Yes. We yes. had a big ass yes. argument about that yes. the first time I signed up for the gym. Yes. Where you got very yes. aggressive. Yes. <laughs> because yes. I was I was in the process of learning. And I'm I still am. I still am. I'm still in the process of learning. 
uh, the process has stopped, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Uh, but I get what you're saying because you don't want people to hurt themselves. And I understand that. You know? And you can't bullshit people saying you go to the gym and that you're all like shredded out every single day of the week because you're working at eating healthy when you just basically steroids left and right. Yeah. Just because someone is buff doesn't mean they know what they're talking about. No, but when you're talking about steroids, is that really a big problem here? I'm oh, asking, you have no idea. No, here's. Oh, well. you have no idea, bro. Okay. You have no idea. That's a, that's an, you can't be like this out yeah. of just straight training. No. You can't. Mm-mm. Okay. You cannot. The best you can go, the best is a pro football uh, player. That's the best body you can go for with training only. Some people. Anything vo- above that. That's definitely something. Some people, they're built different. So, yeah, they'll, they'll get huge. Cool. But not the majority of them. Okay. Their story, the fuck up. This. I know a guy okay. who basically was that. And he was just doing steroids and telling people he's a, he's a, what's his name? He's a trainer. And he was taking money from people. And he was just basically Googling shit. One thing led to another. Uh, because of all his steroid use, he started having heart problems. He had to have a couple of surgeries and he passed away. Oh, and... It's it's dangerous. It's not a it's it is not dangerous. A drill, it's dangerous. There's a lot of bad side effects. If you shit. have if you if you but are why, if you're doing bodybuilding and you have a good trainer and he puts you on a steroid diet, you'll be okay. There's a way to use steroid in, in the correct way if okay. you want to use steroids. But it's a it's a full system. It's a system about how you eat, when do you use it, when you're not eating, you use it, and how you're training. It's it's actually a system. And you need to build yourself for it. So for example, you can't start the gym today and take steroids. It's not gonna work. You need to train your muscles for at least a year. Okay. And then start taking stories. But the question is, why would I even, unless I'm going for a Mr. Olympus competition, like which is the whole bodybuilding competition. Why Have you I not even? seen Instagram? Everybody wants to be, oh, look, I'm, I'm fit. I was born this way, son. Bro, you're not special. Oh, no, no, like all the girls would love me this way. Bro, you're not special. All the girls would love me this way. They just want to see my muscles. And then you have a conversation with them. It's like, uh. Exactly. And 30 that's, reps. Okay. Yeah. And that's why you don't like them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't like them because I think most of them are fake. Okay. It's that simple. Uh, I'm not. I don't, you, do you? You want to be a guy who goes to the gym every single day and just brag about the gym? Do you? But don't bullshit other people by saying you're a nutritionist and you're a trainer and okay. you're a life coach. <laughs> okay, that's completely different. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But I'm gonna put that one in there also. Okay. Yeah. Because lo- some of you are liars. I love. How- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say some of you are liars. A lot of you are liars. Wow. Okay. No, you're not life coaches. No, you're not. <laughs> You just say positive words. You coach mm-hmm. us in life, Adam. I don't coach you. I beat you down with life. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that, that is a certain type of coaching, is it not? <laughs> no, I never coach you through life. Not through life. Exactly. But life advice. I That's... know a guy that he cannot make decisions without calling his life coach. Okay, this just sounds weak, bro. Yeah. Yes, it is weak. Yeah. And I keep telling him that. Yeah. He's like, you try to hurt my feelings, Adam, but you'll never hurt my feelings. No, I'm trying to destroy you, son. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm trying to destroy all of you. And because you're full of shit. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And you need that. In well, order that's, to- yeah, that's, that's the Adam method. Yes. Not the life coach method. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of people there trying to coach you about life when they haven't lived their own yet. They haven't experienced... 25 year old life coach. What the exactly. fuck? Exactly. What, what the fuck did you live through? <laughs> what? You it was, see them a lot. They, I was hurt in college. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I'm sure they have had experiences that are worth sharing with other people. Bro, I know someone who claims to be a life coach and was giving advice about children and they're not even fucking married. Let the hate out of you. <laughs> Let the hate out. I love this. Okay. No, but for real, I, I I hear what you guys are saying. I hear. I don't think I have a problem with the issue because I'm not as exposed. I think to the whole concept. Like I do know certain life coaches. Uh, I don't know if they're good or not. It seems like they know what they're doing. Good job for them. Uh, That's Shamsi trying yeah. to be politically correct and say y'all are assholes. <laughs> That's Shamsi trying to say, no, yeah, I, know, I think they're good. I think because yeah. I'm friends with them, I think they might be I. But deep down inside, like, yo, man, they are trash, they, son. They do them. They do them. <laughs> they do them. I respect that. You know. No, no, we respect that they do that. Yeah. But at the same time, the same way you trash me for my way of life, I'm also trashing you for your way of I'm life. Trying. I never trash you. Yeah, if it's you, a hustle, Shamsi, we're gonna respect you. it. If it's if it's something you're if it's a hustle that you're you're faking. And you're making money out of it. We're gonna respect that. Either no, way. No, I'm not gonna fucking respect I'm that if respect, you're faking it. You're making money. Look, uh, I if you're if you're hustling people, I do not sense, like no, fuck that shit. I do not but, like psychiatrists. I respect them. Psychiatrists or psychologists? Both. Because there's a difference. Both. One's one gives drugs, Both. another does not. <laughs> <laughs> Both. And that another is the definition of you know, them. Them. Okay. Both of them, I don't like them, but I respect them because I know there's a man, a huge amount of good that they do. 
that we don't true. see. True. We just know them for one thing, telling them our problems. But no, there's certain ones that have like really huge cases that they really help people through trauma and stuff. I so that yeah. I respect. I okay. I don't agree with a lot of them, but I respect them because I know they're doing certain work that we don't know about. I think I disagree with you in not liking them. I actually wanted to be a psychologist once upon a time. I think and that's one of the reasons why now. No, for real. For <laughs> See, real. having Chepsy yeah. as one, that's a problem. Imagine son. me analyzing you. No. <laughs> Imagine you listening to <laughs> Chepsy. That, that alone would just baffle me. No, 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 Ouch. Let's, let's play it out. Okay. Ouch. This is you're a patient. I'm Chepsy. Tell me uh, your problem. Um, I was hurt as a young boy. By your dad? Uh, no. By your was, mom. But it was <laughs> by your aunt. Like, but uh, I mean, uh, but who like it the maid? Uh, yeah. Was it so, sunrise? Point I mean, made. Was it sunset? Yeah. Point <laughs> made. <laughs> That's you, son. Uh, you will not let someone speak. No, but I really think that in our society, we really do need more of them because we really have a lot of pent up shit that we don't discuss with ourselves, and it just leaves. True. Like, do you know what's my problem with leaves, that? It leads. It leaves scars that. Are inherited through our generations. True, and you can't see those. Let me tell you the I problem agree. with that you sentence. You feel them. Let me tell you the problem with that sentence. What? You are right. Okay. But the problem with the sentence saying that we need them, you make it sound like everybody qualifies as good. No, no, no. I mean, we need them as a society in the sense of we have them. No, no, no. We already have. Them. But but there's not. We haven't opened up our hearts to them. It's happening now. Today, yeah. it's the, happening. Going to a therapist is more socially acceptable than it was ten years ago. But there's yes. still. But a we still have a lot of like. A, a, a lot to go through. And Just there's to, still a stigma about it. Yeah, yeah, like there if is. You, oh, I don't think there's a stigma about it, to be honest. Uh, my my still, uncle and his wife, they're both. It doesn't stink as much both as professors. it did. Yeah, well, I know my aunt is a psychologist. Yeah, you know? see, both so, of you have that uh, in the family. Yeah. So so you have that personal experience with a psychiatrist, so it makes it more acceptable. Psychologist, sorry. Whatever. Both. People who talk about brain stuff. Yes. Good? The Sykes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Call them the Sykes. Okay. The Sykes. <laughs> I, on the other hand, don't have a, a therapist or a psychiatrist or a psychologist in the family, okay, or in a lot of communities that I interact with, and it's still not as acceptable there. Maybe because they don't have that personal experience. Maybe because well, they no. do not know a psychologist. Shoof, come or they do not know a person who went there and they got, got help. Yeah, they got the help they need. Shuf, you, you would be surprised, I think, by a lot of people that you know in your life that have gone through that experience either with a psychologist or a, psycho a psychiatrist, but they don't really talk about it. Exactly. Because, oh. there's, because there, there's, there's a sense of shame about it, exactly. which is wrong. Yes. Which is I wrong, agree. which is completely wrong. Okay. I personally have been to a therapist. Yeah. Uh, st started this year. Yeah. Okay. I was going through this, some things and one of my friends suggested like, you know what? It would help to talk to somebody mm -hmm. and just unload your issues yeah. and it did <laughs> and it did you yeah. know yeah. for a while but then lockdown happened and situation has changed and i was like okay you know what i'm glad that i don't I need help no no no. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm home i don't I'm, need help i'm glad that i tried that out i'm yeah. glad that i tried it out because it did make me feel better for 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 a period of time and at the same time i'm aware that a lot of the things that we discussed and that i took out of it was like things that i need to do with myself it's like yeah. pushing yourself and disciplining yourself and you know Re, re switching or re gearing the way your brain looks at certain things. So you are more knowledgeable about how your brain operates and how your mind thinks. No. Yeah, just, 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 a just a little bit. Just, just a little, little bit. bit. Just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. See, but that I, little bit helps. I mean, I think it does. <laughs> See, what are you telling me? I, I think, think I'm going to no, smack no, no. you, Bushan. I think it does. Because what do you mean, I think? It does because. Because I, what you went for, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think we had this conversation, but I don't remember it exactly. Resolved. It was resolved. Yeah. But. I don't think that one had to do with your personality. No, no, it's exactly. not about personality. Exactly. So you understanding your brain that was understanding. It was more of a trauma. Wasn't it a trauma? It was, it, it, was, trauma. it was a situation that I was trying to figure out how to deal with in the sense of, I don't know what the right thing to do here. All right. Yeah. You know? Okay. And like, that's my personal experience. I know people who have, you know, have spent years, years going to psychs and different people and talking to different people and trying to find the right person. Mm. And they struggled because you know, not, not again, not today, when it happened at that time, they would tell me that it's not easy to find the right person who would be accepting and who would actually listen to you. And, That's exactly the problem that we have yeah, with them. And a lot of people, the way they would, you know, try to resolve what I was, whatever I was trying to go through is just by giving me the wrong advice or just trying to doze me up or drug me up and like me just not being able just to sell it. Take yeah. this, you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That. That is so, the equivalent of a non-certified gym trainer. Maybe. 
Maybe. Yes. No, it is. It, it is. is. That's, that's exactly it. But these are medical doctors, you know. They're going to. No, it people. doesn't mean. Okay, so each doesn't doctor mean doesn't mean he's good. good. Yeah, yeah, I found. yeah, it doesn't mean that they're good. Alhamdulillah, like some of those people, I'm thinking specifically one person in mind, was able to actually overcome, uh, you know, their need for chemical uh, support and was able to actually reshift their life in a way where like, okay, now I am good because I have a certain routine. I have a certain system. I don't need these that's you know, great. drugs. That. That's great. But that was a journey that took years. And that's not easy for anybody, you know, of for a lot of people. It's not easy for a lot of people. When it comes to the idea of command, you don't even want to recognize the fact that you have a problem. The first step of solving a problem is recognizing that you have it. If you don't even admit or want to admit that you have an issue, which I, unfortunately I see a lot of people in, in a, around us do, then it's going to be a long ass That's everybody. Uh, yeah. you, ha you have not only, okay, let's, let's take a step back for a second about why is it not acceptable. Uh, I think you guys forgot about back in the day how it used to be, oh, Ruhan Sheikh, you'll be fine. And yeah. that was a part of it. That was a part that of it. That was it. Like, yeah. you know, go to Don't go to a psychiatrist that can help you with the problem. Okay. There's, there's, there's a reason why to go over there. There's a reason why to go over there. Exactly. But you need to separate both of them. Mm -hmm. And this was the problem. And we do have great psychiatrists, but they're very expensive. Like, no joke expensive. True. Yeah. So the good ones are available. But they're but, limited. Oh, you need to pay, pay. Like, no joke when I say pay, pay. Well, that, that's kind of what I mean when I said like I think we need more. Like I think society needs more. But the problem with needing more is that it becomes that people think psychiatrists have the answers, the same way people look at horoscopes for answers. Bro, you have the answers. <laughs> like not you. I'm about to say the <laughs> like, <not> you. <laughs> Please no, not, I hope not. Not the bald man. <laughs> yeah, bald man does not have the answers. Exactly. <laughs> I got I got questions. <laughs> No, but I mean you in the sense of what does a psychiatrist do? He just he ref or a psychologist. When you have these discussions, what is what is going on? You're 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 putting up a mirror and you're reflecting things that you don't see because you're on the inside. He's on the outside. Yes. He recognizes the trauma. He recognizes the toxic relationships. He recognizes like the bullying or whatever else that whatever person mm -hmm. might go through. And he gives you strategies and ways to deal with it, whether it's gives chemical you insight or insight and then strength. exactly yeah. insight and that insight that. Is just crazy when it but happens. Your problem here is very, very. I don't know what's the right term for it because here's the issue. Ingrained. No, we're we're we have. I personally have an addictive personality. So do I. I am way worse than you. You know that. Yeah. And a lot of people in Saudi also have that. And a lot of people in Saudi, they look for quick fixes. Instant gratification. So. Oh, mm -hmm. is uh, are these pills gonna make me feel good mm -hmm. and just forget about the problem? Give it to me, rather than me sitting down and actually have to solve that problem. Yeah, and the thing with the quick fixes is they're band aids. We know that, but that's what I'm talking about. When you say we want more of them, then you're gonna have a lot of people that think that these are the people who have the answers, and they figure it's a process, and they're like, you know what? No, I don't want them anymore. And then it's too and everybody's reputation gets tarnished. Oh, this guy is not a good doctor. This guy is a X. Why? Because no one understands. What do you do when you go to a psychologist? Or a psychiatrist? Or hypnosis? <laughs> yeah, well, step... <laughs> or up. talking to a dog in the corner. Step yeah. number one is you actually admit that you have a problem. No, no, no. no, no. I'm, I'm, not talking yeah. about, no, no I'm not talking about these steps. I'm talking about something even bigger than that. You tell me let them understand themselves first. I'm telling you, they don't even understand why they're going there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it goes back to the doctors themselves. I'm trying to explain to these people, listen, this is how it works. And it's easy to say, oh, yeah, that's what they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. I know someone very close to me who's been going to multiple doctors. And every other day, he would be like, yo, this guy is trash. This person is trash. This person is aight. This person, the way he introduced himself was good. The third time I went to him, he wasn't having it. I said, lickly. And like he would like break down every single problem with Is all of them. Like an Excel sheet or something. <laughs> <laughs> Is he selling a book? What's happening? He's here? selling a book. Yeah. He's trying to he's trying to solve his like, problems, bro. Okay. Read my psych. Yeah. Read my psych. <laughs> Yelp well, for psych. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be a, to, to be an idiot. I'm not trying to make fun, but no, no make fun. Uh, so <laughs> no, but go on, go on. But I'm telling you, like we. The problem is that we always say, you know, this this is the solution. It's not really the solution. And on top of that, I don't want I don't want us to talk about it because I know someone that can have that conversation better than me and all of us together. But that's gonna be up to him if he wants to have the conversation or not. But I still think that us as people understanding that field 
is not even like 8% correct. We all think they're either people who are going to solve the issue and make me feel good, Dr. Feel Good, or is it going to be, what's name? Oh, you're just an idiot and uh, you didn't make my, my pain go away and I have to deal with them myself. Fuck this. Sure, I, I don't know what the right thing here, here is. Uh, there's no, there is not, no right aim. There's I'm, no right thing. But what I, the only thing I can think about is it command, it goes back to you and me and him and whoever to actually be honest with yourself and like really take a strong, long look in the mirror. Do you know what's the problem with being honest with yourself? From someone who's very, very honest with himself. Fucking scary, bro. It's not only scary. It's terrifying. It's the idea that you have to accept that you're something that you're not. Having to accept that, oh, I am an aggressive person. This is me. I can't change that. I can act like I'm this cool person laid back and I don't care about the world. I can do that. But that's not me. At the heart of me is me. And so I need to accept who I am. And once I do, it gives you this huge release of being an asshole that you always wanted to be and not give two living shits what people think. And, and it's liberating. And you have but, control over it. Yes, exactly. I know when I'm being aggressive towards someone and I know when it's on purpose and I know when it's out of love and I know when it's out of hate. That's how I know to stop myself. I can't control my aggression. But my aggression is not, hey, let's go tear up the world. Let's go break things. No. It's that I feel deeply about something. Like, I care about both of you. I'm an asshole to both of you when it comes to certain things that I think you guys could get better in. And both of you are assholes toward me for something that I can get better in, like my attitude. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm aggressive toward you, towards something out of love and care for you. And both of you do the same to me. Yeah. See, uh, me understanding my aggression and understanding what aggression is made it simple for me to sit there and let you talk shit to me for 20 minutes, let you talk shit to me for eight minutes. I'm not giving you a lot of time. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll be fine with it because I'm listening to your words, not getting annoyed by you the same way that you do with me. Yeah. And by the way, I learned this from you. I learned how I can control this because of you, because I'm always aggressive toward you. You're always and, pissed at me. And you're always laid back. And you I'm sit there and you listen. You, you actually listen to my words. You're not looking at the words. You listen to everything that I'm telling you and you, you're replying to me. And I'm still aggressive with you. And, and, I'm, you're ask, replying and to I'm asking, me. why are you so pissed, bro? Like, chill. Exactly. No, no, no that's here. the beautiful thing about you. You've never told me why you're so pissed. And chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, you never did that. You've never told me, yo, chill, yo, relax, yo. No. You're like, you, you let me go. You let me do my thing. I let you do your thing. And we basically later on cool down, you know, punch each other out in a sexual way. And then, like, we're good. <laughs> no, because you're not being, you're logical. And I, I see that. Like, I, I get that. You are coming from a certain perspective, blah, blah, blah. I understand it. In my case, I'm a people pleaser. That's true. And I think it's very obvious because y'all know me. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I've realized is something that I've been carrying for a long ass time. It really is something that has been on my back. I do feel bad when I disappoint people. And then I realized, you know what? Maybe I'm such an empathetic person that I don't really see it the other way because it does really go both ways. So I don't really need to, you get, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess what you're saying. So as much as I like myself for carrying this burden and putting myself in that mirror of somebody who cares and somebody who gives a shit, it does go both ways because you know what? At the end of the day, like I'm not infinite, you know? I'm a fucking glass that's going to run I'm going to disagree with you on that one because you're not really a people pleaser. Ask me why. Why? Many of your business. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> the reason is, is because you're not trying to please people. You're trying to make them happy. A difference? <laughs> There's a difference. Because exactly. okay. pleasing people is you going out of your way to do what they like. He doesn't do that. Yeah, no. He doesn't True. go out of his way to make sure that people like the things that he's doing. He doesn't do that. Mm. He stays as Shamsi. But if he knows, well, Adil likes this thing, it will brighten up his day. And then like he'll, he'll do it. If, Tur if he knows Turks like briskets, which we know that Turks loves barbecuing. It's your yeah, brisket yeah. apron. Yeah, he'll, exactly. Bro. He'll see something, yo, Turks might like this and he'll do it. Yeah. This is what you do. So you're not really a people pleaser. You just enjoy seeing people happy. Yeah. And that's part of the whole thing that we were talking about at the beginning. And why do I share? Why do I feel the need? Why do I like the things? Because I feel, you know, joy, sp well, it's, it sparks joy. It sparks joy to yeah. have a connection with somebody on something they didn't know. Oh, I didn't know about this. Great. Thank you for letting me know. Now I know more. I can go. I can explore. I can do my own thing. And for me, like, I'm happy that you're doing that because I don't take the credit, but 
You do take the credit. No, no. You always you take the credit. I take the credit. Okay, <laughs> yeah. sure. You're but, still taking credit. But, but, about, <laughs> like, I watched, what, six, seven seasons of Doctor Who? Exactly. And you're still taking credit exactly. for showing but me the pilot. I, I remember the first time I showed Turks Doctor Who. Like, yep, bro, exactly. Turks is not even here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's about building the bond. Yeah. It's about that bond. And that bond becomes something that you build on more and more. And Definitely. More and more, you yeah. know? I love y'all. This is a great conversation. Fuck. Where did why, <laughs> why, where did we what uh, the hell? Bro, was, I had a list of topics that I totally forgot bro, about. I don't even know uh, where we started. Well, that's that's the podcast, bro. This is exactly what happened. This is this the, is the conversation. This, no, 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 no. This is the magic. Yes. This is it. But we've been talking about you for a while. Okay. Uh, let's ask about Turks. What? No, nobody else. <laughs> I'm not sharing anything. Serious. No, how are you doing, not, bro? How are you? Good. You're scared. Uh, <laughs> I'm not he sharing. Tried, he tried I'm not sharing. Tried, tried away. What? Turks likes fishing mm -hmm. for kids. Wow. So, uh, just wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a game on the PC. Turks, how you doing? I haven't seen you the weekend. I saw this dude. I uh, haven't been doing good, to be honest. Fuck no one cares. We played board games. He Who? didn't play board games. I walked Me? in. I this walked guy? in. No, no, listen. I walked in at, I think, what, 1231 in the morning? Yeah, pretty late. And uh, Ned. I was beating people. And the squad. I was winning. And yeah. Jeed was there. And Champsy, they're all on the table. And there's a board game. And I walked in, all I hear is, what? A buck. A buck. W. <laughs> yeah, w. Yes. He's like, W. Is that W? No, I didn't say W. I said W. And they're like, <laughs> okay, so it's, basically. It's, it's a, a game called. It's uh, a game called Imposters or some shit. I don't even know. So basically, there's cards Wasn't on the it code table. name or code I don't something? Even know, spies. Ah, oh, okay. I know there's that like, one. Yeah. And basically, you need to come up with a word to kind of hint at the words at the table without actually saying any of the words at the table. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm, so I'm so there's game. three words with W. I'm like, shit, water, Washington, and, and whiskey or something. I'm like, I don't even know. Yeah. How do I get the connection between all three? W. <laughs> <laughs> and the one person who picked it up on the table was somebody who, who actually lived in Texas for a while. I'm like, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> should be here either way, Elslin. But, but uh, it was really nice. It was, it was fun. It was, it was, it was fun. a good kickback. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we all sit in different uh, corners of the room. Mm -hmm. It's like a board game in the middle. Yeah. We put a, yeah. a GoPro on yeah. top of the, yeah. and we put on the screen. There the drones just yes. going, we're, zzz, picking yes. up cards. We were using sticks to move <laughs> yes. the game. Oh. And then because we were so separated, we played, uh, what was it, Fibbage? Mm. Oh, Fibbage are cool. Okay. Yeah. We played nice. Fibbage for a bit. Y'all don't strike me like the Fibbage kind of people, but nice. You don't think we know. can fib? We always no. play with you. What are you talking about? No, you never play with At the boys, we you, always you play. Know, yeah, we you do. never play with me. Can do something about that. Uh, our homeboy, Space Boy, was on Middle Beast, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yes, he dropped a great set. Yeah, that was he a great, great set. If you guys nice missed set. it, but you can go follow Space Boy. Been listening, to it. been listening to it actually today while working. Yeah, it was really good. I love the set. Mm. Shout out to our homeboy, Space Boy. Keep doing what you're doing, homie. Uh, what's the name? I don't know which one to go with. Apple and Hyundai, they're going to announce their car very soon. Okay, how soon is very soon? Uh, I think this year. Is the future here? I don't now? think it's going to be sold this year, but I think it's going to be announced this year. Okay. I really hope it's designed by Apple. It is definitely going to be designed by Apple. No, you never know. no I don't think so. Uh, I have, if I remember correctly, Hyundai, they either took the, the last Audi designer okay. and hired them. Okay, I think because, this was like last year because he understands car. Yeah, but even before, they always uh, took uh, people from uh, Volkswagen. And, uh, and Apple Google. understands design. Oh, we'll see about that. It's going to be mm -hmm. white, isn't it? Saudi launches training With courses for solar panel installations. What? Uh, so I repeat that again. Repeat that again. Saudi launches training courses for, for solar panel installations. Okay, that's cool. It's going to be a seven-day course available at four training centers. Riyadh, the Mam Yamba. Installation or, or? Installation. Okay, nice. Industrial scale or residential scale? I think it's going to be both. That's that's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one's also. Got to buy a You got to buy a ladder, bro. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I know that the this, the sun has always been there, Turks. Time is gonna fly real quick, but I really want to have this conversation. The sun exists for like. So I was making a Beatles <laughs> reference. <Chelsea. laughs> I don't know. Nobody uh, knows the Beatles, Turks. People know the Beatles. Do you know the Beatles? No, champ. I had no <laughs> idea what. Who are they? They're a bunch of Brits. <laughs> <laughs> who walk yeah, on the yeah, street yeah. That's, that's <laughs> apparently apparently that's own a yellow submarine yeah. <laughs> page starts a bunch of Brits <laughs> with a yellow submarine they own a yellow submarine <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, so yesterday or I think the day before there was a a protest in Kuwait okay uh, about the closure because of small businesses losing money okay and so a lot of businesses, even here, were saying, you know, go buy local, go buy local, go buy local. I've been saying that for ages. And I stand by that a thousand percent. You should spend your money local. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But 
but no, no buts. But, no buts. Okay. But. Okay. But. So when I was selling my coffee, and people asked me a lot of ways about how I do my method so I can keep the price down. And why was I trying to keep the price down? And I kept saying a hundred times, if you go into new businesses, they can't afford premium. So okay. I try to give them premium for a good price for them to grow and be better. And for me also to grow. Yeah. Okay. And then as I grow and they grow, then my price will go up. It's normal. But you got their loyalty. Get their loyalty. Yeah. Companies that do that, I respect that. Keep doing that. Keep working with all the small businesses. Keep helping them out. All the SM, uh, SMEs, they need all the help they can get. But you big boys who basically were sucking the market dry, you have no right to say anything. I'm not going to mention names so we don't get in trouble. Okay. But you have no right to come out and say, hey, buy local, we're losing money. But are they the ones saying buy local? Oh, you have no idea. Again, like I'll, I'll show you what's been going on later on. And I've been seeing people on my timelines putting those posts up. I know, hey, tough times. And I don't know if it started for Kuwait or not, but I've been seeing it the past three, four days. Yani. Mm. And, uh, I personally have been a supporter of local products. I try to support them as much as I can. I've been a supporter of her for a minute. Like when it comes to food, and I always try to go for something local. Same thing for coffee. Same thing for fashion. Like, you know. So, yeah, I think a lot of them have been hurt by the past year. We know that. We see that. And they're starting to get hurt again, apparently. So. Okay. What 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 are you saying, Champs? I'm saying, <laughs> like, I'm okay, saying you stopped me I'm to say what? I am a good person. That's yeah, a good I'm a good person. I support that local. That's a good campaign. No. Okay, I, that's not what the fuck I'm talking about, okay, though. What are you talking about? I'm talking about these assholes who are overcharging everything, and now they're asking you to come and help them out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. If you wanted to act like I'm a local business, then treat people equally. When you, I, I mentioned this a thousand times. The only thing that I loved so much about Australia is their love for local businesses. I respect that so much. Okay. I would not spend three dollars at Starbucks. I'll spend it on my local business. That's what I was saying. I know you're saying that. Now you can't come out with you ripping me apart to buy whatever, let's say cars <laughs> or whatever it is, and you're already marking up the price so high, and now you're telling me, oh, we're losing money, come and help me out. You didn't care about me at the beginning. You would double up the price either way. You were doing the supply and demand. No, but there's a, there's always a market. There's always, you know, alternatives. You don't always No, no, have we don't have go. markets. We have trends. Mm -hmm. No, no. I, what I mean in the sense of, I mean, in the sense of local, you're like, there's never just one choice. You know, if you want a local coffee shop, there's plenty of choices. If you want a local burger place, there's plenty of choices. If you want a local hoodie place, there's plenty of choices, you know? So it's not just that you've always been forced to, to, to go to one person. Maybe one person is the only good one in the market. Now that's a different problem, but you have had choices, have you not? But were those cho were those choices good? Yeah, that depends on you. Uh, see what I mean? It depends on you. If you know your thing is good and you already just give me this ridiculous price, and now you tell me you're getting screwed, you screwed yourself. Drop your price. People will still gonna come. You can drop your price. Don't tell me these restaurants can't drop their price. But I need, none of them own farms. But I need that. It's everything. Most of it, like ninety nine percent of it, is off the shelf. And you talk about something specific right now? I'm talking about everybody. Generally. Okay. In general. You cannot cry if you were not participating in the game and helping everybody out. Mm -hmm. You can't. You can't come out and run it Oh, come help my business. I'm losing a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, <I'm. laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. See, that's why I don't have a business, Adam. <laughs> that is exactly why. Because people like you will come and say, Ahsan. Yes, I would say. It's not about... As a businessman? Yeah. yeah, I would say that. Okay. Yes. You can't start off greedy and then come ask for help at the end. When you need it. So don't be greedy. That is the that is the virtue here. Don't be greedy. Oh, definitely. That's Next that's step. always the virtue. But they they but apparently a lot of them are. Uh this is just breaking right now. Champ to go ahead and read that. As we're recording right now? As we're recording. Ajil, Minister Diaz. This is Shotlausat newspaper. Al Mawad al Bashariya, Tedu ila tafir al Amal Ambord. قدر الإمكان مع أهمية تطبيق سياسة ساعات عمل مرنة. Okay. So. I just want you to see it, but thank you for reading it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, this is right now. And it's actually official. Right? So basically. So we <laughs> going home. Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, y'all going home. Y'all going home. Uh, I don't think I am, but okay. Why are you not going home? Oh. It's a side project. Oh, you're right. It's about physically being there. Oh, but that's why for you. Yeah. Oh, damn. 
else. Anyway, back to our bullshit. I hate you guys. Wait, wait. <laughs> back, 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 to, back to our bullshit for a second. Yeah. Okay. Right? Ahsan. You're about, it's about you saying Ahsan. Yes, yes me you, saying Ahsan. Okay. Yes. If you do not support local businesses, I'll, I'll give you an example how I do my business. The same way I do this podcast. We're not unveiling anything like we never said before. When we talked about local artists and local musicians and so on, what did we say? We said, we want to support. Mm -hmm. So we went out of our way to find these people. And promote. Now them coming to us. Like some people think that Saud and Jeet, like, you know, like they, they ask for promotion. Let me tell you something. No, they're... If they can shut us up, they would have done that a long time ago. <laughs> like if they could, they would have. Because we keep annoying y'all. Because them. we keep annoying everybody with them. Exactly. Because we like them. No, because we. it's not just that we like them. We know them. That's that's one part of it. We know them and we know no, 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 what no, they... No, 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 no. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I'm not, I'm not going to claim that I know them when I just know of them. And I'm saying... Like Jeet, I'm, me and Jeet, we're still getting to know each other. We're I still mean, holding hands. I mean... In I'm my, sorry, Jeet. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to move my hands. I mean, in my case, as like people that I've met or people I've gotten to know recently, and when I realized who they are and what they do, and I actually took them at the time to, to look at what they did, bro, what you're doing is good. What you're doing does deserve to be promoted. No, we know that. Yeah. But that's the thing. And that's what, that's what started us to actually go out in the local scene and see who else is out there that actually has that quality. At the same time, we never ask for money for it. Hell no. We always give out the help. Do you think we get paid? A lot of people think we get paid. We don't get anyway. paid, bros. If you want to pay us, you can start right now, but we Chancy, don't get paid. We're screaming wealth for a couple of episodes now. We're asking to get paid. <laughs> we're just talking about <laughs> just, this. Yes. <laughs> so. Come on. Let's, okay. let's not ask for money. Listening. <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to tell you guys something on the air, and I'm, it's going to get me in trouble. I'm going to tell you in a few minutes. Go on. Let's, get, let's do this real quick. Uh, I always think of how can I give and give back. Okay? okay, it's not how I can take away. There's a difference. Taking away is putting a business model when you can get people through the door and take their money. Mm -hmm. You being nice to a business keeps them coming back. Okay. You saying, oh, put it here. Don't pay it. I'm not in trouble. Two months come back to me. I can survive in two months. I don't need to send someone, a, a debt collector to your door every single minute asking for my money. Mm. They said, we have a trust on that. I respect you. You respect me. There's a relationship. There's a relationship. Yeah. A lot of businesses don't want to do that. They have some dude that walks up to you, straight B to B, talks to you specifically. You sign, I want this by this day, and it's just full pressure. Now, how many businesses did you heard gave a? Uh, let's talk about rent. Some of our boys, they all have all these landmark places mm -hmm. <laughs> that they have stores in it and mm -hmm. stuff, right? And we were talking about giving uh, discounts, and they're like, "Yeah, we gave discounts for the months that was locked down. We helped out a lot of companies." Okay. Some people did that. A lot of people didn't do that. Is that your problem? I know a lot of people that were told, no, that's I need up. my money. That's what That's what I mean. And you can't create this assholeness of taking everyone's money and then come asking for help when everyone is leaving you. They left you for a reason. It was your attitude. It was your business model. Truth. I, I'm, and I've always been a believer of being the bigger, bigger person, honestly. Like, I, 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 I hear you. I get what you're saying. But at the same time, like, you're talking in a specific context, looking at it for your, from your point of view as somebody who is actually involved in B2B relationships with other people. Me and him are just, you know, regular ass consumers. So, and the people listening to us, a lot of them are consumers. A lot of them are creators as well. I'm sure a few of them have their own businesses. Uh, and, you know, we would love to support everybody. But at the same time, you can't look at it. And when you look at it that way, that's a reductive, and for me, from my perspective, it's a reductive way of looking at it. Because in that sense, you know, people are, are, are still losing, you know, people are, somebody's winning, but somebody's still losing. I would like the idea of having everybody win. I like the idea, maybe not everybody wins as much, but, you know, rising tide lifts all boats. I respect that you want to say everybody win. I'd like to say everybody win, but when you deal with everybody, not everyone can win. Not everybody deserves to win. That's that, another one. That's, that's, that's a sight. Yeah. That deserving to win is a different issue. Because some people are yeah. idiots. You know, some people are assholes. They're and idiots. and or assholes. And some people, they, they misuse the relationship that you have with them. True. And sometimes if that relationship goes south, it's on you that you didn't read the room. I don't blame people when business doesn't go well. I blame myself. I should have known better. When businesses don't go well. When, when it doesn't go well. Okay. Like I had some business partners. I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm good. Let me see. If I get out right now, I'm, I got no losses. I'll get out right now. Oh, stay. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. 
This is not clicking. Even if there were like when you tell me on the table. When you tell me, listen, I'm going to give them cheap coffee when they have syrup. And I'm going to give the good coffee when they just take shots. Tsk, tsk, tsk. What kind of bullshit is that? That is bullshit. It's fucked up. Exactly. Straight up. I don't want to be in business with you. You're an asshole. You are. An- Did you get out of business with him? What's that? Did you get out of business? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Good job, man. Yes. Well done. Well yeah, done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Get a bump for thank that. You. He's watching this, by the way. Good right job, now. Adam. <laughs> he's, he's literally watching this right now. This is good guy, Adam. Well, watch me get a message. Look at this, viewers. You will not see this again. Do not look at me at all. <laughs> Do not look at me. No, I don't like discuss business. But if you, you hate capitalists. I hate capitalism. Okay. Cool. Cap- capitalists are a byproduct of capitalism. Well, that is that. If, if I let you sit with a bunch of VCs and talk about this podcast and the questions that they ask, you will feel disgusted. I, I, this is why I true, <laughs> I very much agree. And he likely will not talk in those conversations. Someone once told me, this is for a different business. He was like, so how are you taking people's money? Not how are you generating money? How are you providing Not how are you value. going to generate income? Not how are you go? How, what's your sales tactic? How are you going to take people's money? Wow. See, that goes to show you like the, the, mindset, the, the mindset of a capitalist. I can see the fangs. The, the, <laughs> the, the predatory. That's that, literally, that, that was yeah. the word I wanted to use. The predatory instinct of a capitalist, a true capitalist. Yeah. Emotion does not come into play. How do I make my money? It's how a are game you and I'm making trying to play my money? Mm. Exactly. So I can't hate them because they're part of the system. It's intrinsic. But I can shame I'm, them. I'm part of the system and I don't act the way they do. Well, that's what I'm saying. I can, a lot of people are part of the system that act the same way they saying. do. You, can, you don't have to do that. Yeah, because, you don't have to. Exactly. Exactly. There is such a thing called values. Can I tell you from my own personal point of view what I think? Community, society. I think, personally, and it's not in our tradition as Arabs. It's not in our tradition as Muslims. It's not in our cultural, overall in the whole region. What am I saying? Community, society. Those are what, that's what so, I'm saying. So, I think these people... Tayyip, if I can ever finish my sentence before you say something, Tayyip, these people, they look at it as uh, Shark Tank. Okay. They look at it as the US. Cutthroat. That's it. Mm. The business is where's the money, how we get the money, and how to scale up and fuck everything else. Some people, they have that attitude. Then they come here and they push that attitude and they never make it in local businesses. They go to, that's not how you succeed. Yeah, they go to international businesses and they'll, they'll, be, they'll do fine. They'll, they're not going to be great. They'll do fine. But here, it doesn't work that way. The one thing that I always kept saying about this podcast that we need to do, we need to have an emotional connection with everybody. Now, it doesn't have to be a good connection. It doesn't have to be a great connection. It's just that when we're speaking, they understand that we're just speaking. We're not giving orders. We're not telling people what to do. We're not bullshitting. We're not bullshitting. We'll tell you what's on our mind. We are. We can be right and we can be incorrect. Very often. Very often. It's it's normal. We know that we're not right. We never came to say that we're right, we're the first or whatever. Let's talk about the first thing. I hate saying that we're the first of anything because a lot of people take that thing. I'm the first rapper. I'm the first podcaster. I'm the first medrimin. Okay, it doesn't work. No one, there's no value to, to it being the first. Trailblazing. You're not even trailblazing. Do you know why? Because you don't have a system. No, you did it first, but you have no system for other people to follow and do it too. That's trailblazing. But that's, claiming okay. that I am number that's, one. I think that's systemizing. Thank you. Yeah, systemizing. systemizing. Yes. yes. So when you're trailblazing, like, no, I disagree with that. I, I, I think there are some Saudis, plenty of Saudis who were the first to do their, the thing that they did. And the fact that they went and did it, let other Saudis say, hey, we can do that as well. So I'll, t- I'll give them the credit for that. Now, the fact that you are the first, fine. But what else? Is that it? Are you, are, exactly, are you if, resting if on you those are the, laurels? Exactly. That's if that. you are That's the first to do it and you're helping others, it's all good. But when you keep saying, I am the first. And you don't do nothing else about and it. And there's nothing else to yeah, be done. I agree with you there. Yes. Because a lot of people would say, I want, I am the first, so come to me. Because I'm the first. And there's an assumption, which I think is mistaken. The first means the best. <laughs> first just means, you know, you got there before anybody else. You had the willpower to succeed before anybody else. Good job. Well done. It's like when we talk about Elon Musk. A lot of people surprise me that they didn't know that Elon Musk didn't create Tesla. That Elon Musk bought into Tesla. And he was the fourth CEO. He wasn't even the first, second, or third. Tesla was was there for a while. Yes, he, uh, I, by the marks. I, I know. I know this. <laughs> I know this because I read his his biography or autobiography or whatever. 
because I'm again I'm interested in the guy. So there is history mm. to the man and and mm. what where he came from, you know. Like he came from wealth. Yes. Fucking wealth. He came from eBay, bro. Also. No, not just eBay. Oh, you want to go way, way before yeah. his parents, you mean? Yeah. Mines yes. of jewelry. What was yes. it? Emeralds. 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 Wow. You know those he came from things from Sonic? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is why we can't have intelligent conversations. No, I'm just saying, bro. Like Knuckles had a lot of emeralds. Yeah. But anyway, that's the thing. Uh, the claiming first is bullshit. Uh, it gives you no value. Shoot, it's not bullshit. If you're, if you're first to, and you're trying to help out and teach the way how it goes, cool. There's this person that I really want to mention her name. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you go, I, I, I'm not going to mention her name because she's very, very touchy. And she gets like very, very annoying. But this person, <laughs> okay. she's in the art scene. Okay. I'm not going to mention her name. And I know she's listening. I don't give two shits. Okay. All right. Let her expose herself. Wow. Herself. Okay. The kid, this the kid, the person <laughs> okay. claims to be a consultant. Claims. All yeah. right. Oh, you guys are doing art stuff? Oh, I'm the consultant for the art stuff. Cool. What's your background? My family has uh, such and such and such and such and such. I'm like, all right, cool. So you just work with the family. Yeah. Okay, so how are you consulting? Like, are you in this field? Did you study this field? No, no, no. I just know people. Okay, know people is called a connection. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not a consultant. I am a connection. I do consultancy, but mainly I am a connection. Okay, so what do so she when when somebody claims to be a consultant, he or she, uh, they consult you on how to move. Exactly. Right. This person cannot consult for shift. Okay. Yet she claims it. And then I was like, okay. Like, and, and a part of how to move is opening doors in the sense of, oh, you want to do this? That person's doing that. Let me connect you. So that's part of it, isn't it? Yes. I'm not connecting you. You're going to pay me to connect you with the person who's going to do the thing that you like. So the value is I'm paying you for the connection. Basically. See, that's not consulting. Exactly. It's not consulting. Okay. okay. And, okay. and she's always pulling that bullshit off always okay and it just never clicked with me and some people like you know they really like bigger up and oh you're amazing cool you paid i'm sorry if i pay you you're not amazing you're not amazing because i paid you if i paid you i paid you for a service you provide me a service it's either i like the service or dislike the service amazing is saying yo i'm gonna connect you with 1.1.2 whatever all right fine go a lot of people don't know me but you guys know me more than anybody else how many times i'm like oh this is what you need I, I got a homie at one, two, three. Exactly. Let me call him up for Simple you as. and get this done with. Simple as. I never ask you for a charge. Hell no. Exactly. And so you come to me, you're like, yo, thank you. And with that, we do the same thing. Everybody does the same thing. Everybody around us like does the same pay thing. It forward, bro. Well, actually, not everybody around us does the same thing. Some people keep their connections to themselves. A lot of people around us do the same thing. But if you're charging people and saying you're the connection and you're the consultant and you should get be paid for it, I'm sorry. This whole thing they created around you is a bunch of bullshit. See, they're trying to be capitalists, bro. We're just trying to be capitalist. And we always go back to capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. No, I, I like the point you mentioned about it's not us because that's completely true. That's completely true because at the core of it is the idea is that you always look out for your own. That's the core idea of this whole system is that you know best what is best for you. But our societies were not built that way. Our societies were built on the familial connection. They were built on the religious connection. They were built on the communal connection. They were built on the sense of us being a community. So the True. system has no room for that because that's sentimental, that's emotional. And the people that do business in that way don't understand that if you do business in this way by relying on trust, relying on relationships, actually opening those doors with people and being somebody who helps rather than somebody who takes, as you say, you end up building more, you end up having more. One plus one is not two in this case, it's three. That's what they don't get. Champs, just summed up the last 20 minutes. <laughs> really really quick mm -hmm. on that point I agree with you I think to add to that is that it's been a great uh, week so far and I'm going to stop right there <laughs> I'm not going to add to that we good? I think I think we're good. we're good I think this is a topic that everyone should have with their on themselves I don't want to add more fuel into the fire but do buy local do stay local just you know help who helps you out let's put it that way help who helps you out respect who respects you and you know support who supports you if they're just, they're looking for the cash, it's all good. And the point. If you want to conduct business, conduct business, but don't expect more of it. No, yeah, sure. It's all about, and I think this is one of the things, alhamdulillah, we've been doing quite well. It's all about showing the love and sharing the love. For real. Like, and we do that and look where we are.
fuck the Turks. You know, judging us mean. <laughs> Yo, I love listening to this episode. To be honest, yeah, I'm the first listener right here. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, he's just, he's this came out of nowhere, bro. I'm gonna push all these topics to the back. Mm. Yeah. Before we go, um, I want to say this real quick, and this is to everyone in this country, everyone in Saudi, everyone that listens to us, and to also all our homies all around the region, to all the Arab countries, to all the non-Arab countries. Uh, our home the, is all across. Uh, what, what do you want to say, Shamsi? You're gen- just cutting me off. For no, what? Just go, go. What do you want? I meant to, meant to want to mention the Martians as well. You know what? Thank you. So, in the coming months, you are going to be attacked. You're going to be disrespected, and you're going to they're going to try to make you feel that you should not be excited for who you are as being an Arab, as being a Muslim, as being a Saudi. And people are going to put a finger at you and uh, start, you know, calling you names and saying you're this and that. Let me just tell you that this is a campaign that's going to run for a while. It's not going to affect us. It's not going to hurt us. We're above it. And uh, before we go, I just want to play one last thing from Allah Yerham Saudi Faisal. And this is, I don't remember exactly when is this recording. This is back in the day. But I think this really sums it up very, very well. Will, uh, will change the, the underpinnings of the government. But it's here. In the 60s, when they were calling Nasser the wave of the future, Nasser went away and the government is still here. After the liberation of Kuwait, saying that hundreds of thousands of American troops existing in Saudi Arabia would surely mean the death knell of uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is still here.